Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 17th of 2020 well, it is titled Cygnus Bubble and Crescent. So what do we see here? Well, this is an area of the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. And we see within it a couple of different objects. One is in the lower left kind of hidden down in the lower left very faint there is what we call the soap bubble. Now you can tell it's very faint and in fact it was only a discovered a relatively recently in 2013 so we've only known of this object for less than a decade now. And this is an example of a planetary nebula. This is what will happen to a star like our own sun at the end of its life. The core compacts down to what we call a white dwarf star about the size of the Earth, but still containing most of the mass of the star. And the outer layers are then expelled out into space in a planetary nebula and will continue to expand and eventually disperse out into space over time. Now that one's kind of hidden there. The other one much more prominent is what we call the crescent nebula towards the upper right hand side. Now that is a little bit different. That's actually uh, formed by what we call a wolf Rayet star. And these are extremely young stars, but also very short lived. So at the center of this, there is an extremely massive star that is going through its fuel incredibly rapidly. And the amount of energy it produces is pushing material out into space. So we're seeing those outer layers of the star being shedded and pushed out into space. So it's a similar process, but different in terms of the timing. So both stars are approaching the end of their lives. But the planetary nebula is pretty much done. The core has compacted down and the outer layers are just expanding. Whereas in the crescent nebula, we are still waiting for the final end to occur. And that will happen when that central star explodes as a supernova. Now when that will occur is a good guess because we don't know we cannot look into the star to tell what's going on in its core and that's what matters for when it's going to become a supernova. Essentially what it will do is build up heavier and heavier elements stars start out as hydrogen and helium and then through nuclear fusion build up uh, into helium and then later stages into carbon and oxygen and so on up to iron. Once they reach an iron core, they will become unstable and will collapse, implode, and then explode outwards in a supernova explosion in a relatively short period of time. So that's what we're waiting for, but we don't know whether that would happen in a hundred years or a thousand years or ten thousand years. It really depends on what's going on in the central regions of this star. But this is the type of thing that we look for in a supernova that would eventually become a supernova. So here we see the two end states of a star. Most stars will end as planetary nebulae like the soap bubble down in the lower left. Only the most massive stars will end up as supernovae as we see with the crescent nebula towards the upper right. So that was our picture of the day for October the 17th of 2020. It was titled Cygnus Bubble and Crescent. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be pretty wild. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.